soles for the boot. So I'm using like a, a soft veg tan. It looks cool once it starts aging with time. And the logo starts to appearing even more. This is called the embossing machine, so this machine gets hot and I have a little die here that has my brand on it. It says Roll Club. So this is what it looks like once it gets embossed. Pretty cool, right? Right now I'm gluing the insole inside the boot. This is a lace toe. It's been popular lately. See, it looks like that. Last time I shot, we shot a green one. Now this is a brown. This is a brown horse hide. This customer chose to go with a brown cork. And we're gonna finish it medium brown, brass eyelids. It's a nice, comfortable boot because you can adjust the how tight you want the boot all the way from the toe. So that's very convenient for some people. So right now we're about to eat. Uh, I decided to go eat somewhere kind of nice because it's Friday. Is it Friday today? Probably. Yeah. So I'm going to take you guys to a, a nice buffet. Hopefully you guys stay tuned. You're here in Glendale. About to eat some food, some good food. Thank you all who don't skip the ads so your boy can eat. Alright guys, right now we're here at the buffet. One tip when you go to the buffet, stay away from the carbs, because then that's how they get you. You know, you gotta get your money's worth, so eat the proteins and eat the vegetables. This is this is your boy's favorite right here. So it's very uh It's very fatty. It's really good. Let's give it a try. It's 
a little sweet. That's why I like it. Well, I'm gonna get to eating now. See you guys at the shop. natural edge so stay tuned guys we're gonna do all the indie resole with uh, a ripple sole so it's like the mini ripple soles I made one before on a, on the other Alden many people got mad because they were like brand new but I resold boots but at the same time it's also a customization some people just choose to have a different sole Away from Bloomington, Minnesota. What are these? Oak Street Bootmaker boots. They look like shell. Interesting. Take a look, guys. Oh, the heels are pretty worn down. Oh, these are gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna go with RC Black full cork soles. So usually I do half sole resoles, half sole rubber half soles, but now we're gonna do full soles. That's a good build. I'm excited for this one. RC half so and heel. Okay. Yeah, classic RC half so and heel, dark brown edge. Same soul you did on a YouTube video. 
I'm glad the YouTube videos are helping because it helps you get a perspective of how you want things. Sometimes it's hard to just read, you know, and don't see the visual. So here we go, another Iron Ranger for you guys. Then I know you want to see his Iron Ranger one more time. I'm glad to do it for you guys. As long as you guys are happy, I'm happy. Oh, this one's a heavy one. This guy did some good packaging. It's clean. Let me know if you wanna if you like a job here at Road Club. Just kidding. Okay, my girlfriend packages, so she's actually behind the camera, so sorry. I remember he, he sent me an email about if I could keep the book. Wow, this is a nice notebook. Wow. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. I'll write my notes on this. I've been looking for a notebook. Perfect. Oh, it's made in Japan. So we got here a Red Wing Engineer boot. It's the classic 9268. I believe this is called the Klondike leather. It builds a nice patina over time. We're gonna remove steel toe. We're gonna relast them. This will be an instant, interesting job. But I noticed a lot of people on YouTube don't really like um, engineer boots. They're mostly into like lace up boots. But we, we're gonna change that. I'm gonna show you guys what, why an engineer boot is such a beautiful creation. Yeah. All right. Thank you again for the book. All right, that's all it. That's it. that's all we got for this week. Right now, we're gonna start uh, working on some repairs. Stay tuned. So I just got this new machine it used to be a kick press to like smash rivets but now I we converted it there's a shop down the street here who helped me like convert this machine and now I just bought the the punch press and you got the little screws see now I can switch to different sizes so this is what I use to um, punch the hole before I put the eyelets so right now we're gonna punch this underdog this is an interesting underdog this is for my friend Nico if Nico you're watching this Shout outs to Nico. Thank you for the support. One love. Okay, so we're going back to this. Uh, we're going to punch these holes right here. Boom, boom, boom. Then we're going to drop some eyelets and then put some speed hooks. So you guys are going to see the process. So let's see. We got this one. So before I used to do this by hand, I used to get a hammer and, a, and actually a, a punch and go one by one. But my hands are starting to hurt now. I'm not sure why. Maybe I should drink more milk, but I don't know. So we're going to keep punching and doing it by foot. Now see right here, this kick press, we're going to kick it down, boom, and it goes down. And the cool part is the guy who made this little setup for me, he put a brass at the bottom. So even though I punch, the metal won't won't um, mess up or anything because the brass is softer than the metal that's actually used for the punch. Boom, beautiful.
Yeah, Vestan is a beautiful leather because it literally just has its own character. So if one person wears a pair of boots in veg tan and another person from another country wears another pair with the same leather it'll develop differently so that's the beauty you know and you can literally build your own character on your own boots I know this is like a simple not a simple process but you guys probably want to see more crazy stuff but it's very hard to keep you guys in the loop but I'll try you know this is like one of the first baby steps and then eventually you guys are gonna know a lot of things so hopefully I can teach you guys and show you what I know and then you guys can build from there and we can have a little boot community see for those of you who ordered the underdogs there's a lot of details I've put on this boot that resemble like a work boot but this is my extra detail right here this stitch right here most people wouldn't put this stitch here because it kind of looks like a defect but once this boot ages these stitches will pop out more and it'll create this character you know it's just an extra detail that is kind of flawless at the same time it was intentional you know and that's the stuff I always see on old boots something you'll appreciate in the future but not at the moment if that makes sense right now I'm putting the dies on the kick press this is a kick press I just put eyelets with a little arbor press. So this is how you put the eyelets. Oh, shoot. So it's not reaching all the way to the top, so we gotta lift it up. See, that's why I like boot making because every day it's interesting. Like, I get to put eyelets, you know, sometimes you gotta troubleshoot things, you gotta figure out why it doesn't work. See, there you go, eyelet, boom. And that's how underdogs are born, kids. That's how underdogs are born, kids. Just play. So we're putting brass. I love brass because it creates a beautiful patina over time. They'll get dark and yellow. It'll just age nicely with the batch tan. If you look closer at this boot, you see all these red lines. I'm gonna show you guys something cool. I'm gonna show you guys how I erase those lines. Show you guys some magic. See, the guy who makes these dies for me, he's from Ukraine. Damn, that guy is a genius when it comes to metalwork. He can CNC and create all these different dies for different machines. And he went to school. He went to school for that. I respect his work. Nice guy. He's, an old, he's his own artist. He's, he's a... He's an artist, you know. He is a metal artist. So we're saving these two holes for the speed hooks. So this is a speed hook. I like to put it like this so I know exactly where it's going to fall. It's going to move. Take it out. Boom. Boom. Beautiful. No speed hooks. No eyelets. There you go. Just like magic. It's almost like magic, guys. If you want to be a bootmaker, you gotta know, you gotta believe in magic. Alright, let's do it.
Alright guys, thank you guys for watching this vlog, vlog number two. Thank you guys for tuning in and I appreciate all you guys putting a thumbs up on my video that lets me know that you like these videos and I'm gonna keep pushing these videos because I know you guys are watching. As long as you guys are watching, I'll keep making them. And yeah, sorry it's kind of a short vlog, just random stuff. But that kind of is my job sometimes, it's just random work. But I try to get really in depth into like certain, certain like details about leather and, and boot making so you guys can get like a better idea of what I do and maybe it helps you in the future you know when you buy a boot you'll know what you're buying so hopefully you guys have a good week that's not even a week huh? well hopefully you guys have a great Sunday and thank you for tuning in